Hi guys, it's Mona. Welcome back to my self-care Saturday. Um, today I've got a few really fun things to show you, including why I love this little rebounder. I'm gonna get into some skincare, a really, really yummy grounding recipe that you're gonna love for the colder weather, and share a new amazing little wellness coffee shop I just discovered in New York City. So a lot of really fun stuff today. So let's get into the rebounder, which is basically this mini trampoline. This one is by Lauren Roxburgh. I love her. Um, this is part of her line, but there's so many different reasons to love this little thing. And honestly, it's so good for you. Like who would have thought as kids, I had a trampoline. I never knew it was actually so good for you in so many ways, but one of my favorite benefits of it is lymphatic flow and lymphatic drainage. So one thing that Lauren refers to as the health bounce is when you jump on it, but your feet don't lift off. Like they don't actually leave contact with the rebounder. So not like when you're on a trampoline and you're like jumping really high and doing flips and whatever, you're just kind of getting this little bounce. And this just really helps get your blood flow. It helps lymphatic flow, which are different things. And I actually first discovered it when I was trying to figure out how to, you know, help my bloat and kind of help get rid of some extra water retention. And this little bounce can be really, really good for that. Honestly, when you step on it, you'll see how good you feel. You get off and you just feel like really like relaxed and invigorated. It's also really good for muscle resistance on top of that because it's so low impact. It's really gentle on your muscles and your joints. So if you want a form of cardio and you don't necessarily like running because it can be a little bit hard on your knees or your joints, this is also a really great alternative. And just the spontaneity of bouncing because your body, you know, isn't necessarily used to that. It's not something we're doing all day long can really help hydrate your fascia. So we really want our fascia to be loose and relaxed and hydrated. This is where we can get a lot of tension and tightness in our body. So overall, it's just such a great, like, device, I guess you can call it, piece of equipment. Um, and you can also use it as a workout. Like you can, sometimes I'll do like twists with it to get like an ab workout. One thing I really like to do while I'm on it is also take advantage of that time to like roll my shoulders back. So I'll put my arms up and kind of do like shoulder rolls or I'll like lift, you know, my arms up and down because it just feels like a really nice kind of relaxing stretch. So can't recommend this one enough for a little bit of a self-care workout. I really want to share this recipe with you guys that's so easy and I think a lot of people don't know about. It's celery root. It's also called celeriac and I'm making it today because it's so cozy and it's getting a little colder and I'm craving like warm foods. Um, it's kind of like a version of mashed potatoes but it's just a lot lighter, it's a lot more nutrient dense, and it's literally using celery root. So if you've had like a cauliflower mash, it's almost similar to that, but I think this has a really good taste better than cauliflower, and cauliflower can be a little bit like gas promoting and bloating, so this could be a really good alternative. Literally all you have to do is boil some water and cut this into like four pieces, and then just literally boil them till they're soft. Then you're gonna remove the peel, blend it, and you can add in like a plant milk, you could add a little bit of vegan butter or olive oil, salt and pepper, and that is it. It's so easy and it's so, so good for you. So one thing about living in New York City, I don't trust the water that comes out of the faucet because the pipes are really old. So what I do is even the water that I boil, I have like a filtration system and honestly, any kind of filter you wanna get is good. And then I put it in the fridge and then I will even use the filtered water to boil because you know that essence gets on your food. I didn't do this in California, but you know, older pipes. Just gotta be careful with the water here. So this is what it looks like. It's a little tough to cut through, but you can get there. You can cut it into like four pieces. When you um, end up blending it, you're gonna get rid of the skin, but it's easy. So that needs to boil for like 20, 30 minutes. So I just thought I would share a little bit about a book that I read recently um, that I've been wanting to read for so long. And it's funny because I picked it up like even um, a while ago and I just wasn't into it. I felt like I wasn't really in the right mind space for it. And the second time I like really picked it up and read it, I completely was like immersed in it. Um, and it's really, you know, it's called A Return to Love. It's by Marianne Williamson, who is a spiritual thought leader. And it's interesting because you have to look at the book 
um, with an open mind. Like a lot of it refers to God and whether or not you're religious, she's referring to God as the energy of the universe. Like it's always kind of like just referring to it all as one name. So it's more so like a higher power that is placing everything in perfect order that, you know, our life will fall into place as it's supposed to because of this higher power, whether that be the universe, whether that be the energy around us, whether that be a, a God you believe in. So when you look at it that way, it, it helps it, I find, be more relatable because I believe in God, but I'm not a, you know, specifically religious person towards any kind of organized religion. So it really helped me look at it that way. And there's just so many different things in here that shift your perspective on how to look at life. Um, a huge part of the book is looking through everything with a lens of love and realizing that we're all connected. And it's just, it really helps you, you know, shift your perception on things. I have so many pages folded down that I like, but I just uh, thought I'd pick one and share it with you. Um, so this one part says, a spiritual teacher from India once pointed out that there is no such thing as a gray sky. The sky is always blue. Sometimes, however, gray clouds come and cover the blue sky. We then think the sky is gray. It's the same with our minds. We're always perfect. We can't not be. Our fearful patterns, our dysfunctional habits take hold within our minds and cover our perfection temporarily. That is all. We are still perfect sons of God. There has never been a storm that hasn't passed. Gray clouds never last forever. The blue sky does. And it's things like this where she teaches you to look at yourself as perfect and whole regardless of your life situation, how much money you make. And instead of seeking out like, I want to be successful at this job, I want to make this much money, just seek out happiness and to really find that fire within you and then it will come. And it's, I mean, I have so many successful friends in my life who have always said like, be happy and you know, abundance will come. And it's just really, really true. And there's so much in this book that I think you guys would find valuable. So I can link it below if you wanna check that out. So I just wanted to give you guys a little skincare tour of my skincare section I have. Um, I basically created little shelves and labels of all my products. Um, I've never really been a fan of storing products in the medicine cabinet because number one, I have way too many. And number two, the heat from the bathroom and the shower doesn't allow the product to last as long. It can sometimes deactivate certain compounds. So I like to keep it in a separate room. Um, this whole system is like the alpha system through your container store, but honestly, any shelving. Honestly, organization is really just about the labels and the label maker. It makes your life so much easier. So this is where I keep my makeup. I actually have some of my SPFs also in this foundation section because these are my SPFs that double as makeup. So on the other shelf, I have the ones that like really don't work as makeup and then just all my other little products here that, you know, I'm not even that great at doing my makeup, but I try. So I've got it organized in all of my clean deodorant. Native is my favorite deodorant brand. Um, my essential oils, all of my hair oils, and then my self tan stuff. So one other skincare just product or issue I'd love to talk about in this video is mask me because I got it for the first time, not trying to be like, I never, you know, I don't even know if that's a humble brag, but I was like, trying to be empathetic to everyone talking about mask me, but hadn't experienced it myself. And then I think I did recently and I was like, what is going on? It was all the little like kind of bumps and whiteheads and it's specifically in this region. And of course it's from the mask and it's very clear why it happens. I mean, you're, you have something covering like a confined space and you've got your hot breath that you're breathing and it creates like a moist environment, which bacteria loves to grow in. And let's say you're eating something, you've got different bacteria in your mouth, you're just breathing it all in and it's just circulating in this area. So it's easy for your pores to get clogged and for acne to build up. So using a preventative situation is gonna be so helpful. Bliss came out with a new product. It's called their Clarifying Toner Serum. It's part of their Clear Genius line. So one thing I love about this line is that it is so affordable. You can find this at drugstores. It's non-toxic, it's vegan, it's cruelty-free, and it's actually really effective. And I love sharing affordable options because I have noticed you guys say that some of the other skincare brands I share might be too pricey. I can't recommend this product enough. Like it truly works. Whenever I start to feel a breakout coming on now and I use it, it really, really works to help get rid of it. So I will also link this below. They have two other products in this line, but specifically I like the toner serum. So you guys can try that. 
So you can tell it's done when you can like really easily pierce through it with a knife and I can tell it's really soft. So I'm just gonna take the peel off, let it cool and then blend it. I find that with celery root, it's best to use almond milk. I've got some almond milk here. The brand that I'm using is Milk. Um, because if you use like an oat milk or coconut milk, it kind of picks up too much of that taste. And I feel like almond milk is kind of the most neutral. So you just want to put like a little splash at a time. Maybe a little more. Because I don't want it to get too runny. And then I'm using Monty's vegan butter. Um, you could use coconut oil, olive oil. This is just a blend of like cashew and coconut oil and a few other things, but it's a really clean brand. You also can add a little more butter at the very end to, you know, add salt and pepper and butter, olive oil, whatever you want. But now I'm just gonna blend this up and add a little more milk if I need to as I go. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed this series of self-care Saturday. I am gonna go get dressed and head out to one of my favorite little wellness coffee cafes and get my turmeric latte. Um, if you guys have any questions on anything in the video, please let me know. I will put the exact recipe to the celery root below and I will see you guys next time.